Hi, just a very quick video uh, this evening, just some new jeans I bought. Um, I bought them from these guys, Crusoe, who are over in um, Brighton. I um, haven't really heard of them before, but these are unbranded um, jeans, uh, the unbranded company I think it's called, and uh, these were the only guys who had these ones in stock. Um, so these are who they are, that's their little fly which goes in there, so I guess those are the guys who run the store. Um, did a br great price on these, I think these are normally um, selling for around about £75 in the UK. Um, but these came through at about 50 delivered, which I thought was great. Um, so anyhow, these are the unbranded Co. Um, UB155 um, Black Skinny Selvage. I'll get them out of the packet, stop the rustling. Um, and when we say unbranded, we really do mean unbranded. There's literally no logos anything at all on these. Um, I apologise for the poor lighting in here this evening. Um, not even a, a tag on the back there, um, you know, a paper tag, which I was a little bit disappointed about because I like to read a bit about the, the product. Um, but basically this is, I believe, made by um, the same company that make Naked and Famous jeans. Um, but the point of this is there's no branding, uh, no embroidery on the back, no campaigns, no advertising. Um, hence you're just really paying for the denim itself. So they call this a, a chino. Um, the denim itself has got a relatively fine weave and a little bit of shine on it in its sort of unwashed state. Um, but it is definitely a denim. It's got a nice selvage edge on it. Um, and when you look a little bit further, there is a little bit of something to read on the tag inside, um, which I was reassured by. Uh, so this is the UB155, it's skinny. They describe it as a 12.5 ounce selvage, 100% cotton, so there's no stretch or elastine or whatever it is in there. It's a 32 waist there. And then on the next tab, a nice bit to read there. There's hi, I'm made out of raw selvage denim. Yes, that's right. Never even had a bath. Um, so wear me hard. Don't wash me for several months, and I'll become a beautiful and personalised jean. So, yeah, this is definitely a jean to wear for your six months. Cold soak in a bath with something like woolite, um, not machine wash. I wouldn't do that. And hopefully we'll get some fades on these. Um, they look really nice, and I'll, I'll show you them on in a second. Um, what I would say, and it's very hard to pick out here, no real de details, um, but the thing which I really turned me off a bit was that the pockets are really shallow, and that's just annoying because you can't put your phone in there or anything like that. It's a pain. I don't like that at all. Um, but at the back there, you've got nice rivets, which are hidden, that's pretty good, pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah they're looking pretty nice um, so let's just pop them on and I'll show you how they fit um, it has got I think a standard 30 in, uh, 36 inch leg uh, they don't do different leg lengths or inseam lengths um, so obviously turn ups but you've got your selvage so that's really what you want to have um, but yeah they're looking nice button fly um, so we'll pop them on Oh, one thing to say, um, these are very, very similar cut to the Levi 511s, which I've already done a review on. Um, so I knew that they were going to fit their 32 inch waist, um, which is just about right. Uh, I can take a little bit of stretch, take a little bit of shrink, that's okay. Um, but yeah, very much similar cut. So they're not super skinny, um, but they are slim. Uh, I'll just pop them on. Um, I'll pop them in, on with some red wings because uh, these will definitely w be worn with some boots. Um, probably some nice black Doc Martens I've got an order and we'll do a review of those shortly. Okay, so I'll pop these on. <laughs> 